make selections and add masks how to make a selections and add masks on photoshop on the ipad make selections and add masks <clears throat> by the way making selections and adding masks are two powerful ways to edit selective areas and add effects to your campsites by the way yeah like this is screenshot now easily create accurate selections and masks in photoshop on your ipad and how to make a selections how to make a selections here if you want to make a selections how to make a selections here now a selection is with one or more parts on your image by the way by selecting specific areas and you can edit and apply effects and filters uh, to to portions to portions of your document while leaving the unselected areas untouched and what about double tap double tap the lisa tool from the toolbar and to bring up more selection tools you can select areas of a layer with a lisa quick selection restangel mark you and a bit mark you like this is screenshot yes and when you tap a select a selection tool the associated tool options appear from the tool options you can choose whether to add to your selection this icon subtract from your selection and or select the areas that inter intersect intersect with the current selection like this is screenshot now when you make by the way when you make a selection here now in this screenshot now when you make a selection the active selection properties appear at the bottom of the workspace it gives you the option to deselect and mask areas and invert and transform the selection or select similar and selection tools selection tools select with the lasso tool and the lasso the lasso tool is useful is useful for drawing free for Freeform, freeform segments of a selection border, and to select using the lasso tool, tap this icon. And as you tap lasso, choose from the tool options that appear, and simply draw a freehand, freehand selection to proceed. How to add a selection? Add selection is meaning add to selection icon is meaning next selections will be added to the current selection this icon is meaning add to selection icon is meaning next selections will be added to the current selection subtract from selection icon is meaning next selections will be sub subtracted from the current selection and select the areas that increase intersect with the current selection icon is meaning select the intersection of current and next selection and the lasso settings icon is three point icon is meaning feather select the number of pixels to feather the edges of a selection and look at this screenshot now lasso setting we have a lasso setting select with the quick selection tool the quick selection tool allows you to quickly paint a selection using a, a, an adjustable round brush and as you drag the selection expands outward and automatically finds and follows defined edges in your document double tap the laser tool from the toolbar to bring up the quick selection tool this icon is meaning as you tap the quick selection tool choose from the tool options that appear okay so what what's meaning this icon add to selection next selection will be added to the current selection and subtract from selection next selections will be subtracted from the current selection and brush size brush size is meaning determines the pixel size of the quick selection tool and hardness hardness is meaning the hardness setting control the size of the brush hard center and quick select settings is meaning enable and disable use brochure for size that's great so look at this screenshot now again quick select quick select setting quick select setting and use brochure for size select with the mark tools 
What's the meaning? The MRQ tools allows you to select rectangles and ellipses to make a MRQ selection and choose one of the MRQ tools and simply drag over the area you wish to select. And if you have a physical keyboard connected to your iPad, you can also press M shift to select the MRQ tools and the rectangle mark you tool this icon is meaning makes makes a rectangular selection and look at the screenshot again mark you mark your setting if you choose mark your setting we have you, you will find the feather option and the style and rectangular mark you tool and the elliptical mark you tool this icon is meaning makes an elliptical selection And what about add to selection? If you want to add a selection tool, next selections will be added to the current selection and subtract from selections. And actually, we're talking about this this function before that. Okay, we need to complete again now. Yes. What about active selection properties? If you want active selection properties, what about active selection properties? Once you make a selection. You can see active selection properties at the bottom of the workspace. Like we have many options. Deselect. What's meaning? Deselect is meaning deselect is the current selection. And mask is meaning turn us the current selection into a mask for the layer. And erase is meaning allows you to, to erase the selected area. And invert. Invert is meaning invert the selection so that the this deselected area becomes the selection. Transform. Transform is meaning allows you to transform the selection. Then select similar. Select similar is meaning as pixels to the selection that are similar to the ones already selected. Look at this screenshot again. We have transform selection, then select similar. And we have option deselect and erase and invert and more more options on taskbar more options this icon is meaning more option on taskbar is is cut cut is meaning allows you to cut a selection or layer and copy merge it copy merge it is meaning allows you to copy a merge selection or a layer to be pasted over another layer like this screenshot cut and copy layer and copy merge it and select all and load as a selection this icon is, is meaning is meaning more three three point three point icon is meaning more if you want more option cut and copy layer and copy merge it and select all and load as selection apply masks how to apply masks if you want to apply masks you can use masks to hide portions of a layer and reveal uh, and reveal options of the layer below and the masks are non-destructive non-destructive which means you can go back and edit the masks again without losing uh, the pixels they hide and a layer mask hides part of a layer form view and a clipping mask uses the contents of one layer to clip or hide the contents of one or more other layers from view that's great. So what about layer mask? Layer mask, you can create a layer mask to show parts of a layer and hide others by turning a selection into a layer mask or by painting on the layer mask after creating it and in areas where the layer is masked or hidden and the layers below are visible and masking layers is a variable compositing technique for combining multiple documents into a single document or for removing unwanted objects from a campsite and create a layer mask from a selection how to create a layer mask from a selection we have many steps step number one make sure the layer you wish to mask is selected and simply simply tap a layer thumbnail from the taskbar to select a layer step number two create a selection using one of the selection tools step number three tap the layer mask icon on the taskbar 
and you can view the selected area while the rest of the layers gets masked and from the compact layer view from the compact layer view you can swap left and right on the layer thumbnail to switch the view from layer view to layer mask view and both thumbnail are visible on on the default layer view and how to create how to create a layer mask and edit the mask with a brush how to create a layer mask and edit the mask with a brush we have many steps also step number one so number one, make sure the layer you wish to mask is selected and is simply tap a layer thumbnail from the taskbar to select a layer. Step number two, tap the layer mask icon on the taskbar to create a mask. Step number three, tap the brush icon, the brush icon and to brush. And step number four, set a brush properties as desired and choose black to fully, fully mask where you, you paint and Step number five, paint over the mask layer. And clipping mask. Clipping mask, a clipping mask allows you to use the content of one layer to mask the layers above it.